Hello and welcome to HitFilm 2 Express. Most of the effects used in this clip use motion tracking to control their movement. Anytime your camera is moving, your effects will need to move as well to stay aligned with the footage. HitFilm 2 Express uses 2D point tracking to quickly and accurately track this movement so your effects stay properly placed. Tracking is performed on your video layer. Expand the bottom layer, layer 33 on your timeline, then expand the tracks listing. You'll see two tracks listed here, one for the floor hits, which happen right here, and one for the scene light, which controls this lens flare. Expand the scene light until you see its keyframes. Now with the graded footage layer selected, click on the layer tab in the viewer, which will show us our selected layer without any of the other contents of our timeline. Open the track panel as well. This is where we can adjust settings for our trackers. Select track point one and you will see it on the layer view. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel. We have a point, a small red box, and a larger green box. The small red box tells HitFilm what feature to follow so HitFilm's going to search for whatever is contained in the red box. And the larger green box tells HitFilm what area of the frame to search to find that feature. The point in the center is the exact position that we're tracking. Once a feature is tracked, the position data it creates, which are all these keyframes, can be applied to another layer in the track panel. Throughout this project, you will see tracking applied to point layers. If we scroll to the top of the timeline, this point controls our light track. I'll switch back to the viewer so we can see it. So there's that point, and as we scrub through, you can see that it moves around exactly following the point which we tracked. The floor track layer controls the positioning of the bullet hits on the floor, and this point also follows the movement of the footage to stay locked in place on the floor thanks to tracking. Point layers serve as place markers. They can't be seen in the video you export, but in HitFilm, they can be used for positioning other layers via parenting. When you assign a parent layer, the child layer will inherit its parent's transform settings. Since the floor point's position is controlled by our tracking data, we can make any layer follow our tracking info by parenting it to this point. You can learn more about parenting in our tutorial on Parenting in HitFilm. The transform controls for a child layer are relative to the parent so you can offset a layer from its tracking. These two bullet hits are in different places on the floor, but all six layers used by those effects are parented to the same floor track point. Let's add a third bullet hit to the floor. Select the bullet hole, ground hit, and sparks effect layers, right click and duplicate them. Now in the parent menu, select none. Drag those three layers just above layer 30. We'll scroll down a bit. Then drag them so that this hit starts in between the other two. Now if we scrub through, all of our new layers are there, but they're not all in the correct position, and while the ground is moving around through the shot, our new layers are not. This is why we use tracking. So let's reparent those layers to the floor track point, and then we can position them wherever we want this hit to occur. First let's change the order so that the sparks are on top and the bullet hole is on the bottom. Then we can reposition the bullet hole wherever we want this bullet to hit. So I'm going to put it right about there. Then open the control transform properties for this layer. Right click on position and copy. Now we're going to paste that position information onto our sparks effect. So select the sparks open the transform properties, right click on position, and paste. All right, now our sparks and our hole are in the right spot. Ground hit one, however, needs to be manually adjusted because the point of impact, right here where the smoke begins, is not in the center of the layer. So we can just manually reposition this layer to line it up with our impact. All right, now when we scrub through, we have three bullet hits instead of two. But the original bullet hits have a little bit of a flare right at the point of impact, and our new one does not yet. All right, so find frame one of our newest effect. Scroll up and open the light flares layer. All of the light flares in this entire project are effects on this light flares layer. So open the effects, 
and you can see ground hits one and two right there. Duplicate ground hit one, then right click and rename it to ground hit three. Expand its controls and you'll see three keyframes that control when the effect is visible. We need to drag these over to change the timing so that the second keyframe lines up with the beginning of our three new layers, which is where we have our playhead. Now we just need to reposition the flare to match our other layers. Expand the hotspot position and notice that the use layer property is set to our tracking point. So our tracking data is driving the position of this effect. Now adjust the center values to align the flare with our new position. Then we can close that layer and go ahead and scrub through the timeline and you can see we now have three bullet hits instead of two. If you want to learn more about tracking or try tracking some features yourself, we have a tutorial that explains HitFilm's tracking in depth. And for more advanced tracking needs, HitFilm 2 Ultimate includes 3D camera solving with Mocha HitFilm's Academy Award winning planar tracking technology. If you want to learn more about any aspect of HitFilm, there are loads of additional tutorials and training resources available through the support section of HitFilm.com. HitFilm 2 Express. Shoot. Create. Share.